it's Mama Pete the Science Tea coming at you today to talk about absorbency in an episode on Colony Soaking It Ah, That's right, we are going to test out some different items and see what will absorb really well, what might not do a very good job. Okay, we're going to talk about that and what it means to absorb. Then I'm going to show you a little science magic trick making disappearing water. That's right, we practice safe science around here, so strap on that seatbelt because we are going for a ride. All right, first step, what does it mean to absorb? Absorb means to take in, to soak up. And then there are some items that are called super absorbent. That means they are able to absorb and retain, to keep it in, incredibly large amounts of liquid compared to those their size. All right, so let's see what we have here. First off, we have this little towel. This is an expanding towel. It actually makes like a little washcloth, all right? Right now, it is all compact. All of the air has been sucked out of it, and it's compressed, and it is solid. This is meant to put in water and expand, so we're gonna explore that expansion process. Next up, we have a sponge. Sponges are made to soak things up, right? To clean up messes, to absorb liquid. This one has been dried out. I took it out of its package so there is no moisture in it, okay? I can't squeeze anything out of it. It's still pretty solid. We're going to watch the absorption process of the sponge and see how much it can absorb compared to its size. And next up, we have a couple of those super absorbent products here, the diapers, okay? So you would think super absorbent, they should be wearing a cape, right? But they don't come in a cape. Sorry, you gotta supply your own cape if you want that. I've got Pampers. I like Pampers brand, whatever you want. I don't care, it doesn't matter. But I did Pampers with these so that they are the same. If we're gonna compare things, we need to keep things as this, much the same as possible. So what I have here is the regular diaper. Okay, the regular, and it's a size three. Why does that matter? Because I wanna keep things the same so we can compare them. So this one is the swim version. It's called Splashers. It's a Pampers Splashers size three. It wouldn't really be right if I did a size one and a size three or mixed them up, okay? I want to keep them the same to compare them. All right, so what I'm going to do is first off, I'm going to weigh them. So I've got my scales here. I'm going to weigh them to see what their starting weight is. We have to have a starting weight so we can, oh, what really absorb the best, all right? So first I'm gonna get their starting weight. Then I'm going to soak them all in their own individual containers of water. Let them sit for, oh, 20, 30 minutes and then record how much water they retained. Now, in order to do that on my scales, remember safety first, this is a safe science episode here. I don't wanna ruin my scales with water, so I will put them in a container to hold that moisture in it. That means I will set something on it, uh, like a bowl, set it on it, then make my scales go back to zero to get that starting weight, so I'm not weighing the bowl with it. And then I will put the item in there get an ending weight to see how much liquid, how much water they were able to absorb, and then we'll talk about that. We'll figure out how much more that they weigh afterwards. Did it absorb twice its starting weight? Three times, four? Who knows? We're gonna test it out. All right, now I'm gonna put this in time-lapse mode so you don't have to sit around for 20 to 30 minutes to watch it. All right, so um, let's, let's rock and roll. But wait! talk about what things absorb and what things don't absorb. We know that our little magic towel is going to absorb, We because it's supposed to. We know that our sponges are going to absorb. We've used sponges before. We know these diapers, they better absorb. That's their job. What doesn't absorb? Uh, uh, screaming chicken? <laughs> nope, he's not going to absorb a thing. What about uh, this lovely little uh, mountain bat bouncing ball? Isn't it going to absorb? No, it is not. Things that absorb, they have little air pockets in them that allows the liquid to get in and mix with their, their makeup, okay? These are all like fabric-y things, aren't they? Did you notice that, right? We've got our fabric washcloth. We've got our little material fabric sponge. These are kind of a fabric. Wouldn't want to wear them every day, but you know, hey, 
they're a fabric, they've got little air pockets that allows that moisture, that water, the liquid of whatever it is to get in, to soak up, and they expand. Now, now we're ready to rock and roll. Let's do this thing. <laughs> together when it expanded if you noticed I had to help pull it apart a little bit it was expanded in there it just needed a little help to get free okay it went from 0.8 ounces to four ounces wow that's pretty good right that's five times its original weight and then we have the sponge the sponge here it went from 5.5 ounces to 8.6 ounces 17.2 times its original weight it beat the magic towel. And then, before we get to that diaper, let's go to the little splasher's diaper. It's still pretty small. It doesn't weigh a whole lot. That would be a really great idea if you have babies and you're gonna take them to the pool or something, put them in that. When my kids were little, we didn't have something like that. They had to wear the big, heavy diapers. Wow, this would have been fantastic. It started out at 0.6 ounces. It grew to four ounces. The same weight as this washcloth. Think about that. That is 6.7 times its original starting weight. And then, then, oh my goodness, boys and girls, we have got this diaper. Holy cow. It is massive. It is so full. It started at 0.9 ounces. 0.9, just a little bit more than what this washcloth started at. And then it grew to 2.5 pounds. That's the same as 40 ounces. That means it grew 44 times its original weight. Could you imagine a poor baby wearing that in the pool? That would be so super sad. Okay, now, mm, I got something else to show you. I want to show you that disappearing water I was telling you about. So, so cool. Hold on tight, let me grab my supplies. I'll be right back. All right, the magic disappearing water trick I was telling you about. Here I have three empty cups, right? They're empty, got nothing in there. Okay, so you set them out, set them out. I'm gonna pour some water in this one right here. Keep your eye on that cup. I'm gonna do the whole switcheroo thing. Ready, let's go. Where's it at? Where's that? Mm -hmm. This one. Yeah. Okay. Where are you, did you think in this cup? Did you watch carefully for this cup? Let's see. Oh, you are so right. You are so good at this. Try it again. See if you're good this time. Here we go. Ta -da. Ta -da. Ta -da. Ta -da. Ta -da. Which cup? Which cup? This one? This one? This one? Which one? This one. Let's try this one. Let's try it. Ready? Ooh, look at you, you are amazing. Ah, can you do it three times in a row? Let's see. Hmm. This one? Nope, this one? Nope, must be this one, right? Nope, sorry, you lose. I'm gonna show you what I did. And it has to do with those super absorbent polymers that we were just dealing with with the diaper. You know how it soaked up so much, like 44 times its original weight? That's what's going on here in this cup. If you could see really carefully, I put a little bit of extra little science magic in here. Let me show you. Okay, now I'm gonna give you the secret to what I did in that other one. Okay, so I've got my three cups here. Now, if you look really closely in this one, I put a blue dot. That's so I would know which one I put the secret special science magic ingredient in. 
You see here, I've got some super absorbent diaper polymer. The powder, just like they put in those diapers that sucks up that 44 times its original weight. Yeah, that stuff. Uh, and I'm gonna take a scoop, just a scoop of it. And I'm gonna put it in this cup. Now I don't have my blue dot, but I know it's in there, right? So I want to make sure I'm gonna put it somewhere that I'm not gonna pour the water in first. All right, so then you say that you're gonna pour some water in a cup. Watch that cup, watch where the water is, right? So as you're doing your whole switcheroo, 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 wherever it is, then you pour it into the second cup. Ah, magic, there it is. And then you're switching around again, and you're switching around again, and you're switching around again, and you switch around again, and then you pour it into that cup that has that super absorbent polymer but they don't know that because you can't see through the styrofoam cups, right? So, ah, do you see it? you see it? It's already gelled. So you move it around, switcheroo, 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 and they were very careful and they saw that it should be in this cup, except being poured out, mm, it doesn't come out. It turned into a gel, just like those diapers. Isn't that crazy? That'll like psych them out. All right, now, before I go, I want to leave you with those words of wisdom. You know, I can't leave you without some words of wisdom, that wow moment. Today's wow moment. Behold the turtle. He makes no progress unless he's willing to stick out his neck. You know what? That's true. Have you ever seen a turtle all closed up in its shell? It's not gonna go anywhere on its own. Only if somebody or something moves it, right? A dog comes along, picks it up in its mouth, takes it somewhere and drops it off. Oh, it just got moved. Or somebody comes along, oh, look, there's a turtle. I think I'll take it home or I'll put it somewhere else. You pick it up, you move it. But did it get anywhere on its own? Did it want to go to those places? Mm, probably not. So if you think about that, in life, if you don't like where you're at, if you don't stick out your neck and move on your own, you're probably not going to get anywhere. If you want to be something to do something in your life. You've got this dream, you've got this goal, right? And you wanna get there. But if you stay closed up in your shell, you're not gonna make any progress. Just like that turtle that stays closed up in his shell, it's not gonna get anywhere on its own. People sometimes get forced to go places. Do we want to? Mm, probably not. So if you want to get somewhere, if you've got a goal, if you wanna do something, you don't like the situation that you're in and you want to change it, you have got to stick out your neck and you have got to take steps towards your goal. You've got to make progress. If you don't try, you're never going to get anywhere. And that's going to be really super sad. So you need to be the turtle. Now also remember that turtle, he's a sneaky little guy, right? Slow and steady wins the race. Don't expect to get there all at once. Baby steps. You just never know where life might take you. You know what? I mean, look at me. Here I am making videos on YouTube, sharing my love of science with you. Do what I've got there if I didn't stick out my neck, if I didn't take a chance, if I didn't try? No, ma'am, I would not. So remember to be that turtle who's willing to take a risk, who's willing to stick out his neck and go make some progress. I'm Mama P. Go do some science.